As Mark mentioned last night, uh, when we, once we got a little bit later into the day, wind gusts would pick up and relative humidity would drop. And we're watching that happen right now as temperatures continue to climb and dew points continue to fall. We'll see relative humidity values drop perhaps below 30 or even 25 percent. Combined with these wind gusts, 20 to 25 miles an hour or so, that does slightly elevate uh, the fire risk. We still haven't greened up across Connecticut and our recent dry stretch has helped to really dry things out. So just something to keep in mind that if a fire were to start today, it could potentially easily spread. Our iCam here in Middletown showing a mix of sun and clouds right now. Bright skies on our iCam here in New London. 50 degrees right now in New London. Two winds out of the west-northwest at 10 miles an hour, helping to keep shoreline temperatures up just a little bit. And we'll keep that west-northwest wind for the remainder of the day. But look at the wind speeds dropping off after sunset tonight. Once we get past 7 o'clock, these sustained wind speeds of 15, 10 to 15 miles an hour uh, will likely trend a bit calmer overnight tonight. And that will allow temperatures to fall back a little bit more tonight, too, compared to what we saw this morning. If you take a look to the northeast, uh, northwest of us rather, temperatures are in the 30s. All of this colder air is trying to work its way in on northwest winds right now. So compared to yesterday at this time, we're about 5 to 10 or so degrees colder. Yesterday was a really nice afternoon. We're still expecting high temperatures today inland to end up in the upper 40s, low 50s along the shoreline. And then by 7 o'clock tonight, we're in the mid 40s statewide and we'll drop into the 30s tomorrow morning. Perhaps even a couple of spots in northwestern or northeastern Connecticut briefly touching the upper 20s. So it could be a bit of a frosty start. Uh, your first alert to keep the jackets nearby certainly tomorrow morning and high temperatures tomorrow inland only recover to around 45 degrees at the shoreline we're forecasting 47 so we'll be in the mid and upper 40s but certainly chillier than where we were most of uh, last week and even slightly below average for this time of year first alert future cast through the remainder of the day showing the clouds returning this evening and then we'll start the day off with a bit of sun tomorrow increasing clouds thereafter here comes the approaching front this is what swings through on wednesday six o'clock wednesday it's still to our west but it does move through in the afternoon and evening and this will bring some isolated showers some towns could stay totally dry Wednesday and then we talk about wind wind gusts on Thursday could be up maybe even over 30 miles an hour so when we wake up Thursday morning feels like temps 15 to 20 degrees and in the afternoon even as temperatures themselves return to the 40s it'll feel more like the 30s and by Friday morning when air temperatures are in the 20s even though the strongest wind will likely have passed us it'll feel like it's 10 to 15 degrees statewide so uh, winter certainly not going away as easily as you may have thought, given last week's temperatures. Just keep the jackets nearby later this week. 45 to 50 inland today, 50s along, low 50s along the shoreline. Tonight, upper 20s, low 30s inland, and we'll see mid-30s along the shore. First Lord seven-day forecast here. Spring again begins tomorrow. That's the equinox. And look at these overnight temperatures at or below freezing the entire rest of the week. We're in the 40s for high temperatures Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, as high pressure briefly builds in, less wind, plenty of sun, mid and upper 40s. And we're giving you the first alert to the weekend. There are still some big model differences on the timing for potential rain on Saturday. Saturday is also when our average high temperature jumps to 50 degrees for the Hartford area. So again, even though highs this week are in the 40s, that's actually seasonable for this time of year. It's not until April 14th when our average high jumps to 60. But somewhere where we do remain below average is the amount of snowfall we've seen this season. We average 9.4 inches of snow in the month of March for the Hartford area. So far, we have seen a trace. And on the first Lord seven day forecast here, Kara, another seven day stretch without a single snowflake here. And we're getting closer and closer to the start of April when those snow chances really drop down. Yeah, wow, like we might make it through. Okay. And